record on this one. Okay. All right, everybody. Welcome. Uh, glad you guys could join us tonight. My name is Eric Eisenhut with the United Goalkeeping Alliance. Um, I'm here tonight with Tony Elliott of Birmingham City, in addition to the United Goalkeeping Alliance. I'll give you a quick introduction to me. Tony will give a quick introduction to himself. And then what we'll do is we will get into the particulars of our um, the information we want to share with you. Uh, we expect our side to last maybe 10, 15 minutes, to be honest with you. And then we're going to open up to questions. We want you as uh, participants and as you know, paying folks we're going to be paying to understand every single piece of what you're going to be getting. Um, we believe it's an amazing opportunity. Uh, it was never been, that wasn't <coughs> for when I was a child, I can promise you that, or a goalkeeper. So we are very excited for this opportunity. Uh, my name is Eric Eisenhut. I am currently the Robert Morris University Women's Goalkeeper Coach here in Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania. Uh, I am also the owner of GK Icon Academies USA, a goalkeeping academy here in Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania. I'm also on the Region East Youth United States Youth Soccer uh, Goalkeeper Coaching Staff. Um, and Tony, if you don't mind just giving a, a quick overview of you, your introduction. Yeah, of course. Great to see everybody. It's a little bit later in the evening here in the UK. Well, it's it's now the early hours of the morning, one o'clock in the morning here, would you believe? So uh, if you see any matchsticks coming out to keep my eyes open, that's why. Um, hopefully when we start the uh, the conversations, I can see all your faces. So you can put your, uh, your screens on if you wish. Um, but yeah, Tony Elliott, um, currently head of goalkeeping at Birmingham City Women in the uh, top division of women's football here in, in the UK, the WSL. Um, also very uh, active in the, in the uh, national organisation. So I work with two of the para-disability squads, the blind squad and the deaf squad. So I have a very uh, big role to play in preparing the goalkeepers for those squads and their international uh, commitments. Also very heavily involved in futsal in the UK. I've been for about 12 years now. And uh, I'm an ex-professional goalkeeper, 14 years in the uh, top flight in England. So um, hopefully bring my experiences of not just coaching, but playing as well at the very highest level uh, in the UK. Okay. Awesome. Thank you, Tony. Thank you, Tony. And again, guys, if you could just place your phones on mute just for the first 10, 15 minutes, then we'll open it up to questions afterwards. Um, so let's get started. What I'm going to do, I am going to share my screen and I am going to introduce you all to the benefits. Do you guys see the benefits screen here? Tony, can you confirm for me that you can see the page moving? Yeah, I've got it, mate. Now? Yes. I can see it. Yeah. All right. Thank you. So all I'm going to do, I'm not going to read this. I, I would like it if you guys could just eyeball it, if you don't mind. But this is going to be the main piece of information we would want to transfer over to you, where it gives a quick definition as to who we are and what our goals are. Uh, we're a group of 45 and growing goalkeeper coaches from around the world. Obviously, Tony and, and some European goalkeepers are on this alliance or involved in this alliance. We have a lot of United States goalkeeper coaches who mainly fall into the college goalkeeping realm, um, in addition to uh, a lot of academy owners. Um, and it's very diverse coaching staff. We have Folks up from the likes of Tony with his experience and Ian Foyer, who played for West Ham United in the EPL, um, all the way down to coaches who are just joining the college ranks in the NCA levels. Uh, we are going to be basically <coughs> dividing up our group in the groups of 10 to 12 coaches per month, where we're going to organize and essentially educate goalkeepers on specific goalkeeper training moments. Um, the, co the, the content I'll introduce you to and the calendar I'll introduce you to in a moment, uh, but it's going to focus immediately on, co on uh, communication. And then we're going to work on set pieces, which is a tangent off of communication. Then we'll get into through balls in March, one-on-ones in April, and we have the entire calendar plan for 2021. Um, again, you see some of the experience levels there in the middle for our coaches that we have on staff. Um, and down the bottom is really where we want to focus. I'm moving down. I want to move that to the top. And that's the benefits to the goalkeepers. Um, from a bullet point perspective, and real quickly, you know, you're going to basically get to that next level through education. Um, and we're going to look to provide that in a standardized, um, consistent approach. And when I say consistent, it obviously all comes down to the virus and how it's impacting people. Um, Tony just had word on Monday that he shut down for about a month over in England. And I know Europe making some interesting decisions and some smart decisions. 
Here in the United States, it varies by state. Sugar, it varies by town, right? And, and what we're trying to do is based on that, can we provide some high level education on a consistent basis for your goalkeepers? Um, we're gonna do that through Zoom meetings. Uh, we're gonna have deep dive conversations. Uh, we're gonna break down film uh, for the first month with communication. We're actually gonna have, I believe a mic'd up section, uh, session where we're gonna hear from a local coach who is actually a local player, excuse me, I believe the player is Brad Guzan, where we're going to hear what he sounds like on the field. We're going to hear different tones. We're going to hear different communication mechanisms, as well as um, some talking to his own team players in, in encouraging ways as well, uh, which I, I'm, I find that fascinating, to be perfectly honest with you. Uh, we're going to provide you with some materials, and I'll get to those supporting materials in a moment. They include a calendar, uh, a workbook, and we're also going to reference our coaches' panel discussions that we've uh, we built over the summer. And those coaches panel discussions consist of 30, 30 minute videos. So 15 hours worth of content. And what those are essential for is those are gonna be our, that's gonna be our pre-work. We're gonna ask players to watch those and engage in those. So when they come to the educational session, we don't have to worry about regurgitating information that they should already know. We wanna spend our time engaging our goalkeepers in conversation and breaking down film and getting to the nitty gritty or nuts and bolts of the session. We don't wanna waste our time with presentation and speaking to things that we believe they could already know based on these coaches panel discussions. So we're gonna, I'm gonna introduce you to those um, in a moment. Parents, <clears throat> a lot of young goalkeepers, parents have been asking a lot of great questions in regards to what they could potentially get out of it. And I find that to be awesome. I have two sons, a 10 year old and a 13 year old. Um, and I, I understand what a parent might want to look for when, when um, participating in this. And really we focused a lot of our information on the five elements of development of a goalkeeper. <clears throat> now with those five elements of development, the younger goalkeepers typically are working on, the first thing is a, their, their technical environment, meaning they're working on technique, they're working on catching properly and diving properly which is awesome. And, and then as they get older, they start to understand and learn about the game. That's their tactical environment and learning in a tactical standard. Now, as they get into puberty, as they get into the upper echelons of their game and they start to advance, they're gonna need to understand the psychological piece. They're gonna need to understand that their body's growing and their physical connection, um, in addition to the social element within their team. Um, and that's new to goalkeepers, that's at that age in particular. And for the older, more experienced goalkeepers, um, that's gonna be not new. They'll start to understand that, but we're gonna dive deep into that to give them some information prior to them hopefully having those situations on the field. Um, we're gonna speak to specific vocabulary for parents in regards to um, what should be said and how it should be said. And we're gonna kick that off this month in January. Um, and we're also gonna get into, I want you to understand the difference between a good goalkeeper coach and a bad goalkeeper coach, in addition to the difference between a goalkeeper trainer and a goalkeeping coach. There are differences there, and I'd like to answer those hopefully during the question section. Sporting materials you see down here, we're going to get into um, not only those coaches panel discussions, but we're going to, I'm going to introduce you to a calendar in a moment. In addition to a notebook, all participants are going to get a 35 page notebook that will allow you to take notes. And it's also, um, user-friendly from a phone perspective. All links that you're gonna see on that are live and it's very, it's printer friendly too. So you can easily print it and you can have that 30 page notebook to take notes on um, during your sessions. I'll introduce those to you literally real quickly right now because that will take me just two seconds. If you could hold one second, please. Here is our notebook. And when looking at this notebook, I want you to kind of just, I'm just gonna go through it fairly quickly. But <clears throat> here's the playlist and the episodes, the 30 coaches panel discussions that we're gonna be referencing. Um, we're gonna be, for each page, we've given you the breakdown of what the agenda is for each episode, who the presenters are. And in the bottom left corner, you see a picture there. In this case, it says physical capability. That's actually a live link. If I were to hover over that, I could go and play that right now and go to that coaches panel discussion. So this is a, uh, we believe a benefit. We're making it as easy as possible for you to connect to and understand what you're gonna be learning in addition to um, a note-taking device. Uh, we also have the calendar and this calendar here really introduced to you what each month will look like. Um, and is that too small? Can you guys see that? 
So January, you can see goalkeeper communications and you see the pre-work that we've assigned to those that month. Um, you see the first or the third, if you go from left to right, you'll see the third column is for the, the younger or more inexperienced group, which is that in our definition, 2008 and younger goalkeepers. And then to the right, you see the more experienced pre-work for, for those goalkeepers um, and those for 2007 and older. Can the younger goalkeepers watch the older ones? Absolutely, no doubt about it. We believe that um, the information is there for everyone to benefit from. We don't wanna put limitations on anybody, but at the same time, we also don't want you to get involved in something that you might not understand and confuse yourself with. So we tried to gauge that as best as possible there. Okay, I'm gonna go back to the benefits section. One second, please. There we are. Awesome. Our first session start this weekend. As I mentioned, we have 10 goalkeeper coaches who are going to be part of that. And we have an amazing staff for that month or for this upcoming month in regards to the topics we're going to be discussing too. Um, and on that, let me just quickly pop that up. And as you see here, the staff is excellent. Stan Anderson, 25 years in NCAA Division I. Um, he's, I believe he's a four-time Hall of Famer in four different locations. I believe it's five, actually, but I don't want to get that wrong. Chad Prickett owns the Columbus Goalkeeping Academy and is a college goalkeeper coach. Taylor Thames is goalkeeper coach up in, uh, I believe it's Army West Point. Yes, it is. Um, Eric Klonowski is a professional goalkeeper with Toronto FC, Toronto 2. Nick Jaramillo is in the USL 2. Samantha Gribowitz is an NCAA Division II female goalkeeper coach. Um, Nick Hills owns his own academy, goalkeeping academy in um, Jacksonville, Florida. Bill Bertner is a director of goalkeeping at a local club here in Pittsburgh. Marcella Moriera is also a director of goalkeeping up in North Northern New York. And Greg Kennedy, Greg Kenny, excuse me, is the goalkeeper coach for New York University, um, where he actually reports to one of the only female head coaches of a men's program at NYU in New York. Um, Others pieces of information real quickly, and then I'm going to turn this quickly over to Tony. Um, you will see the monthly schedule for January. We scheduled everything on Fridays for the younger, more inexperienced group at five o'clock. Um, that's not a fixed time for the entire year. That's just a, a time frame that we used in December. The January coaching staff agreed to it and wanted to keep it and keep it consistent. We also know we're going to be taking into consideration different time zones. For instance, West Coast, that's two in the afternoon. Kids are still in school. We understand that. So we need to figure out how we're going to be flexible with that time frame. That is one question that we have received. And it's going to be up to the coaching staff per month to figure out when those presentation times and days will occur. And those will be announced on uh, the uh, week or weeks before the actual month. Um, regarding the cost, oh, everything will be recorded too. I should have mentioned that too. So in your paying membership, you'll also have the opportunity on our website to not only have access to the website, but have membership only access, meaning all recordings, all presentations, all documents that we are going to utilize will be stored there. All of the pre-work, um, all the assignments will be there as well. So it'll be literally our one-stop shopping for all of our United Goalkeeping Alliance members to go for anything related to what you're gonna be doing over the next six months or year with the United Goalkeeping Alliance. Last but not least, and I just wanna to speak to the cost real quick and we can come back to this later if anyone has questions. We have three memberships that are available. One is per, or let me rephrase, two of them are by individual, once for a six month membership for $99 for six months. You're gonna get three sessions a month for six months. So 18 hours of those facilitative educational sessions, in addition to the mentorships and relationships that you're gonna be um, hopefully coming away with. 75% of the coaches currently are involved are NCAA college coaches. Most of the goalkeepers that I train, their goal is to play in college. And with this list growing and more NCAA goalkeeper coaches um, joining the Alliance, this is gonna be a great way to not only learn from coaches at a location of where you want to be in a few years, but potentially you could draw a relationship and really hit it off with someone to potential, potentially be recruited there or go there. So it's, we believe it's a great way for us coaches to, to learn about players and goalkeepers, but also a way for goalkeepers to learn also ab about the college game and the coaching staff and, and how we go about running things at that level. There's also a monthly 
cost for $29 a month, you can join and receive those three benefits. Um, we would prefer you do the six month. That's why we made it financially um, a little bit more uh, attractive to do the six month membership. Um, once you're in, it's going to be, I think, we think a lot of fun, great membership in addition to um, the benefits, excuse me, that'll come away, you'll come away with. Lastly, for anyone here who's part of a club or decision maker in the club, uh, the membership there is six months for $999, but that will include every single goalkeeper in your respective club. So if you have a club of 20, 25, 30 goalkeepers, you're going to get this at a pretty good discount uh, per individual. So before we get into questions, I'm going to turn this over to Tony now. And what I'm going to ask Tony to consider, or to, I'm going to ask Tony to continue with, if I could, is the expectations on what to expect and how this will look. And Tony, I'm going to turn it over to you. Thank you. Oh, mate. Well, listen, all, all I'm, I'm sitting there listening, I'm looking at, obviously, I, I played a big part in its creation, Eric, but uh, I'm only wishing that this was around when I was playing as a, as a professional goalkeeper or developing as a young goalkeeper because I think, you know, you guys that are here with us tonight and anybody that, that comes on board with us is going to uh, be immersed in so much fantastic uh, learning and opportunities to learn that, you know, this is kind of... Uh, um, you know, ploughing the road for for future generations of goalkeepers to come. We never had this, um, you know, years ago. Uh, and as I say, I'm only wishing that uh, that I could have had that uh, opportunity when I was a younger younger individual, younger goalkeeper developing. But hey, I'm doing it now as a coach. Uh, it's great to see so many of you with us tonight. And uh, yeah, Eric, you know, we uh, I think we we sort of got together spring. Uh, 2020, I think it was, when the pandemic first hit. Mm -hmm. And we started discussing how we could uh, team up, you and I, um, to sort of bring a new way of learning to to goalkeepers around you know, the globe. And um, here we are, you know, this is now, um, you know, months and months and months of, of hard work and, um, you know, bringing people together. And I think, you know, you've already alluded to the fact that we've got over, over 45 unbelievable coaches in our uh, in our alliance now and uh, what a fantastic opportunity that's going to be for our goalkeepers coaches and parents to to actually learn about the role of the goalkeeper in the modern game I think the big thing that you and I discussed and and, and obviously you know we, we came up and you know worked hard to create the the five elements of development program for you was that holistic approach that all-round approach to developing our goalkeepers, and I think that's very important. Um, over the years, we've tended to be quite technical and physical heavy when we've been developing our goalkeepers, but there's so much more now to the role of the goalkeeper in the modern game. And Eric, you alluded to the fact of the, the tactical side and, and specifically the psychological side, and we connect the social side to that. So those are your five elements, but I think what we're going to give uh, the members that join us is that all round um, learning opportunity, that holistic approach to your development, but also the coaches that, that come on and join us, not necessarily the coaches that are delivering this program, but the coaches that come on board to learn are going to have a more rounded idea of what it takes to develop goalkeepers of the future. And that's what I consider the, the, the goalkeeping Alliance to be. It's very futuristic. It's something different. It's something quite new. And this way of learning, guys, is, is something that's been sort of pushed upon us because of the pandemic. But now it's becoming the norm. Um, you know, even at the levels I'm working now, a lot of the work we do is via Zoom meetings, via Skype, because we're not allowed to, to work in large groups. And so basically to get our message across, we're now having to work using this format, this platform. And for me, it's completely changed the way that we deliver our message to the goalkeepers, coaches and parents. And I think it's a wonderful way of learning. Very interactive. It was everybody a great opportunity to uh, be immersed in, in what we're doing, but also to play an active part. And that's the other thing that we're doing here is we're trying to make this as interactive, as interesting um, and as collaborative um, you know, like a group situation as we possibly can. And we found that already, Eric, haven't we, in the, in the work that we've done in the build-up to this, this new beginning in, in January. So I'm really excited to be on board. The benefits 
um, you know, for, for all are there to be seen. Um, a fantastic opportunity to work with so many uh, diverse and different goalkeeper coaches from around the globe. And, um, you know, it's an opportunity for you to share your thoughts as well. This is about you, the, the coaches, the goalkeepers, the parents, it's not just about us delivering um, presentations. If there's something that you feel that you want to see or that you need or that you as an individual goalkeeper or a coach or a parent you need more education on, you must let us know about that. This is your platform. It's for you. That's why we've created this. So never be afraid to approach us to give you more. That's what this program is about. And we will build this around you. And I think that's the fantastic thing that we can do with this. It's not just about our delivery. It's about your interaction. It's about you telling us what you need and what you require. And we can add to this program as we move through it. Yeah, and, and Tony, I really like how you ended that. And I'm just going to say one quick line and then open it up to questions. Um, I sent out a text message with a video message from me to my goalkeepers, just my group. And, and all I said was this, like, I've been working with some of these guys for five to 10 years. And my goal, our goal is to get your goalkeeper to the next level. And in this inconsistent time, we're trying to provide consistency at a very high level from an education standpoint that you can continue to learn from and take your learning to that next level. And there are going to be different ways to do that. And truthfully, the higher up you play and the higher level you play at, the more you're going to rely on film study, team conversations and, and classroom educational sessions. I know it happens at Robert Morris, where I teach, we, we always have group meetings and conversation, break down film. And sometimes people don't really get that understanding until they get there and they're behind the eight ball. So we're going to try and do our best to get you to understand what's needed to get you as an individual to your next step or next level. I think with that, Eric, I think uh, yeah, that the right big ahead. thing from our point of view, the way that we've constructed this, the way that we piece things together, it's a great opportunity again for everybody to understand and to learn how to self-evaluate, to self-analyze. You know, we're going to break things down. You know, we're sharing presentations, PowerPoint, we're, we're delivering the message with footage, with analysis, uh, with breakout rooms, with feedback. So many different ways in which everybody involved is going to be able to, to, to learn and enhance their skills in terms of becoming a better goalkeeper, a better coach, a better parent coach. It's a fantastic way of learning from our point of view. Yeah, and, and I'm just going to turn this and open this up to questions. And one, I'm gonna, one thing I'm going to propose as well is if you don't want to you know, speak, but you want to type it in, go right ahead. You can send me a direct message. I actually have one here that I'm going to speak to um, to start. And you guys just think, throw them your way. This is for you. And, and so if any questions you have, Tony and I are here to answer. And I also noticed we have about five other coaches from our alliance here on the call. So, fellas, really, really thank you for being here to support us tonight. Um, the question is, we are highly interested in the live participation portion. However, 5 p.m. on Fridays would not work. Is 5 p.m. time set in stone? Uh, no, it's not. Every, every month, that time in the meeting schedule is going to be um, agreed to by the group of coaches who are putting on that month or those three sessions for your particular age group that month. Um, so that should, that should rotate. And it, we, you might see it fluctuate to weekends. Um, that's probably our preferred time frame is on a weekend. So Friday night to Sunday night is kind of where we're aiming because what happens during the week, most of us are training. Now with the shutdown, if shutdowns occur, it's going to be inconsistent. There might be a, a night during the week where that might happen. But for the most part, we are aiming at weekends to put these on. They are going to be recorded too. So we understand that the live portion is very valuable, but if you're, you're going to miss one or two, it happens. As coaches, we're going to miss one or two as well. So can we um, record these and put them out there for you to see in our members only access? Absolutely, absolutely. Thank you, Frank. I see that you said thank you for that. No problem. Um, other questions, by all means, again, you guys can type them in or, or feel free to unmute and, and be heard. Good one there, Eric. Yeah, so considering the younger group for our son, what is the typical attendee to coach ratio for classes? Um, well, I think, again, probably, Eric, you can probably answer that one. I think if, if with the um, sessions coming up, I think we've got a large number of coaches involved, haven't we? Yeah. yeah. We we are based our – so when we, in our presentation, for instance, let's use this as an example. There are 24 of us on here. 
right now we are assigning in addition to the two or three coaches that are presenting we're also assigning six of our coaches to be there for the breakout rooms and what we're doing is when we go to our small groups to discuss a point or to get in depth on a topic we're just going to take the group and divide it up by that coach's number the more players we have the more coaches we're going to provide we're shooting to keep that number under five to one when breaking out or six to one when going to our breakout rooms. So in this case, with 24 of us with six coaches, you're looking at a four to one ratio. Um, we are looking to keep that number small for breakout room purposes because we do want kids participating. We don't want wallflowers. We want, I had a conversation with someone today about the role of communication and how valuable communication is. Here's a great place to start because it is just a screen. We're not surrounded by people, but we're all in this together. There are going to be a lot of new people and you might think that everyone has a relationship. Not many people here have relationships. We're all in this together, kind of individualized a little bit, but we also know that we're, we want people to talk. We want people engaged. We want parents involved. So we're going to ask people to participate. And by utilizing those small rooms and those breakout rooms, we feel it's a good way to develop relationships in addition to getting people, and especially the younger group, to come out in a, out of their shell, so to speak, and, and participate and talk. Well, I think, Eric, that's the key thing with what we're trying to do here. It's not just about the goalkeeper, the coach, the parent. It's about the person. We're trying to, to develop people. So, you know, giving them confidence to speak up, giving them the opportunity to voice their opinions. Mm -hmm. You know, when we do the breakout rooms, that's why we're putting coaches in there, not to lead, literally just to facilitate. We want the individuals in those breakout rooms to be driving the conversations, to be giving their thoughts and, and findings from what they're seeing, what they're understanding. When they come back into the collective group, we want people to be confident enough to feed back, you know, to, to give their opinions without, without worry about being right or wrong. There is no right or wrong. It's their opinion. It's their thought processes. So then the coaches are there to help guide if they need to. But that's what we're trying to do. We're trying to create really strong, creative people that aren't afraid to give an opinion and speak up and give an, an idea that they're understanding the process. And that's what we're after. So person first, player, coach, parent second. I love that. Well said. Well said. Um, question here, what are the age group breakups? Right now, we're looking at 2008 and younger and 2007 and older. Um, we're also right now kicking the tires with eventually starting a college level as well. So we are looking and understanding what our client base is and looking to work with you on forming the right groups and the right age breakdowns. Now, those are more inexperienced. That's, that's basically an overall idea of how we're going to break it down. If you're a 2008 goalkeeper and we believe that you are just head and shoulders, knowledge-wise, above everyone in that group, we will absolutely take that into consideration and see if you would want to move up to the older group. And, and it's, it's a matter of comfort. We want our goalkeepers to be comfortable and to be talking and engaging, but at the level where they are in their development. We don't want to force people to you know, jump in the deep end if they're not prepared for it. And, and that's okay. It, it, everyone has a different time frame and how their development works. And we understand that. And we're going to be very flexible um, with who is in what group. However, we are going to look for two separate groups because the conversation and how deep we go into a topic will vary greatly um, by the two groups. The topics will remain the same, though. Mm -hmm. Other questions? Good questions, by the way, guys. This is very, very helpful for me because I know I'm, now I know what I'm forgetting. <laughs> Are there any of the United GK coaches out there that That's might have say. something to say regard? Maybe we missed something. Um, myself and Tony, if, if any of the coaches that have something to add to it, by all means, don't be afraid to get involved, please. Mm -hmm. Eric, I think what we, uh, we, because I know you just touched on there about the presentations, that they are the same mm -hmm. for both groups. But what we tend to do sometimes if we need to, um, just tweak or change them a little bit, maybe for the young group, and then maybe advance it a little bit more for the older group, then we we, we have got license to do that. Um, I think what you touched on there in terms of, you know, the individuals working to their own levels, you know, we want to make sure that everybody within those age groups, 
gets full opportunity again to share their thoughts, feelings, findings, and not for any one individual to dominate um, the, the proceedings. We don't really, you know, we, we're not sort of going to try and drive that. We want to make sure that it's shared. And and if that if we find that happens, we'll try and be creative in the way in which we do try and get others to get involved if they tend if they tend to be one of the quiet ones or you know a little bit shy at coming forward and giving information. We've got enough. Um, you know, experience and knowledge and understanding of delivering these programs in in how to be creative enough to to get people to come forward and to be confident enough to to share their thoughts and findings. I'm going to put out the old rule that silence is acceptance. I'm looking for bobblehead doll responses right now from parents in particular. <laughs> um, literally, I'll give you guys five to seven seconds, and if it's silent. It's telling me all good things and I mean that and I appreciate it. I don't wanna keep you here on this Thursday night, but I do wanna make sure we're all, um, we are taking care of what our responsibilities are and that's to educate everybody before they get involved. So whatever you need for us guys, know you can always reach out to Tony, myself or any of the coaches whom you work with that are part of the Alliance. Um, you can also go onto our website and it's www.unitedgkalliance.com. The registration links and then the options for for purchasing are there as well, um, as as well as our list of all majority, most of our coaches. We, we're still looking to update our site, and the site's under construction. Please know that uh, we're going to have our members access only our member only access up. Excuse me, in uh, in just a few weeks. So more to come. Eric, I see that there are there are quite a few parents on here. I'm I'm keen okay. and interested. Um, obviously, you know coming from the UK, what, what you guys, what your expectation is of, of the program. Mm -hmm. You know, at the end of the day, you guys are going to be registering your, your youngsters. You're going to be paying the dollar um, for this program. Anybody want to sort of come forward and what's your expectation? And, you know, have, have you been in, have you been part of the initial build up to this and what's your thoughts and feelings and any feedback up to now? Does anybody want to say anything or talk about that? Share anything with us? I'll be brave and go for a second. Good man. Good man. Um, I, I, I think for us, uh, Anna's verbally committed to play collegiately, but not part of a club experience that's done any any sort of table talk or formal video review. Um, so, so we know that's a deficiency and there's only so much the two of us can do talking through games together. Uh, yeah. and, and that's a, a place where I see this program really stepping up. Excellent. Well, that, I mean, Look, Dan, as we've alluded to the fact, we do use a lot of uh, analytical type um, processes when we're delivering um, the programme. It's the way that we now work with players. Um, again, you know, I, I can only tell you about the way we work with the, the players and specifically the goalkeepers here in England. You know, we, we spend so much time um, working on analysis, uh, giving feedback, you know, uh, after games and discussing either individually or with, as units with uh, maybe a defensive unit or if I'm working with the goalkeepers or as a group, um, because as a collective, you, you need to know how the goalkeeper works, what their role is in the team. So I think it's very important now. And I think that's the other thing. It's This isn't just about the goalkeepers. We want to try and encourage as many coaches onto this programme as we possibly can, because they may... Um, be in a position where they've not had that education. They don't understand how to deliver their message in a different way. They may only uh, be used to delivering it on the field. So if we can encourage them, help them, cajole them into finding different and creative ways in which they can help the goalkeepers develop and, and analysis is part of that, then that's what this program can give them. So yes, it's about you, um, you know, encouraging your, your youngsters to come and, and be part of our program. But we also want the coaches involved, you know, the, the, we're, we want everybody here, you know, and I think, let's say, for instance, you know, um, your daughter's coach, if they were both here, how fantastic would that be? Because there would be so much learning going on between the two of them, then they can take that away with them into their environment and start using the processes that we're, we're sort of teaching them um, on a regular basis, not just once a week when they're with us, you know, so that's, that's the, the, the thing for us is can the guys take this away with them and start to use it on a regular basis 
not just when they're with us. That's what we want. That's the aim. So hopefully that, that message can be put across there to, to everybody involved. Yeah, just, just to add from my perspective, so uh, a father of a high school goalkeeper, um, just excited for the interaction, um, for the players to be able to, to hear each other's stories. Um, obviously the amazing um, coaches and everyone that's gonna help from a teaching standpoint. But as you said, Tony, just bringing a community together and realizing that they are a community um, they can learn as a community. Um, the sport continues to evolve. Um, so coming together and learning that collectively, I, there's no better way to do it. So I'm super excited for the opportunity. I wish I would add it when um, I was playing in my days. Um, so I'm super excited for my son Luke to have that opportunity. It's a great answer. And, it, you know, for us, that's what it's about. We want, you know, I'm just so pleased. There's so many of you on here tonight, parents sitting with your with your youngsters. That's wonderful. It's great. You know, I I tried to be that way when I was with my my kids. Not not being forceful, but just being there with them, being part of their learning, being part of their pathway, being part of their development. And there's so much that you can you can take from this. And that's what we want this to do. We want, we want it to be a family. We want the alliance to be a big family where, you know, parents can talk to other parents, coaches can talk to other coaches. Keepers are going to be interactive and working and and learning together. You know, what a fantastic environment that is for everyone concerned. And that's how important it is. The, the role of the goalkeeper is evolving so rapidly now in the modern game. And there's so much we still have to learn. But the more opportunities we can give our goalkeepers to learn, whether that be with the coach, whether that be from mom and dad, whether that be from brother and sister, carer, that's what this is about. So the more people we can get involved on a regular basis, the better it's going to be in the long term for, for those that are, are with us on this journey, you know. Yeah. And, and there's, a, there's a question here regarding um, how new is this program? Um, Tony made reference to this a little earlier. And, and essentially, this we've been evolving this for about 18 months, Tony, and then try to put it into this form right when we went into the pandemic in March, let's say. So we've been shaping this for 18 months um, and it's out in its current form since November, maybe. We just we did some free sessions in December and, and now we're, we're going live for the first time. So it's been a long time in the making and, and we're at our final product now and it's still evolving. And that's the best part like this is continues to evolve to cut because we're always coming up with new ideas and a lot of ideas come from either coaches goalkeepers in addition to parents like your daughter and your son or daughter they're our client right and and i worked in corporate finance for 20 years so i i was big in the client service environment now my client is a 13 year old goalkeeper right and it's awesome i will lie to you i love it and but it's it, it's we've been shaping this in in it, into its current shape for a while and we're very excited for what we're now able to offer and put these high quality coaches in front of our goalkeepers. I'm thrilled to be able to put my goalkeepers in front of the likes of Tony, in front of the likes of Michael Sylvia. I'm naming all the coaches who are on here. Now I'm going to put you on there, guys. Nico, Riro, Roro, Stephen Rerick. I'm seeing y'all out there. They're all waving now. Who else am I missing? I know I'm missing somebody. I, my apologies, guys. But we're at, we have an awesome group established, and I really want my kids – um, it, my co my goalkeepers to learn from some of the other amazing coaches that we have involved. So I'm excited, truthfully, for that. And I hope that that answered your question, Janine. Eric, I think again, you know, look, and, and I have to be honest, and I have to say this openly, Eric, you've put so much into this, so much energy, drive, determination to get this up and running. You know, you're the guy that's that's really put this out there for everybody. Now we're all playing a part and offering our expertise and, and help and guidance. But the, the shame of this would be is if we only get a small group together to be able to deliver this message. This is well worthy of any goalkeeping program development idea that, that there is out there. Yeah. This is state of the art, you know, and much, much work, hours, days, months, have been spent putting this together, you know, um, and that's the key. You know, we we never we don't stop, and uh, it's a funny thing because obviously the time difference here in the UK, we have a WhatsApp group, 
and 24 hours a day, my phone doesn't stop pinging. So at times when I'm, when I'm in bed at night, I have to put this group on mute because we're that active. We're trying to come up with new ways, new ideas, new thought processes. So that's what this is about. And, and it's being driven by so many people to get this right. So, you know, guys, you are, in essence, the guinea pigs. You know, you're the ones that, that's come on board at the start. And we're so proud and pleased that we've now got this product to share with you. But you're going to be the voice. You're going to be the drivers of this. And we need you now, not just to be with us on the journey, but also to push it out there for us, to promote it, to tell others, you know, how much education and learning is out there for them. There'll be those out there that have no clue that this is available for them. And what an opportunity missed that is for goalkeepers, coaches, parents, whoever it is. So that's the key from our point of view. We, we put this together for a reason with a purpose. That's to drive goalkeeping de development forward into the future. But it's up to you now to be with us, but also to drive it um, and help others come on board with us. And that's the key. All right, guys. Last, last, last two cents, and I'm going to um, try and wrap it up if I can. But I also missed, and I see now Mr. Michael Kappas and Mr. Michael Zazig out there who are also coaches in the alliance that I failed to mention previously. So my apologies to you two. Um, and I understand some of you might be having a little bit of technical difficulties with the, the voice and the video kind of coming in and out. I, I hear it clearly as day, clear as day when Tony's speaking. So my apologies if you guys are having some technical issues there. Um, Tony, last words before we, uh, we end. No, listen, it's been, I, I just, listen, I could sit here all night and it, it's only a shame that we're not getting a massive amount of questions. You know, I, I guess that's, that's the norm when you do these kind of things. I could sit here for hours, even if it is a uh, quarter or two in the morning over here in the UK, I've talked till the, uh, the sun comes up, if I'm being honest about goalkeeping, but we're here for you. You know, this is about you guys. It's, you, you know, we put this together, but it's your program. We want to be as helpful uh, as we possibly can uh, moving forward in terms of your development. So I'm just only proud and pleased that Eric asked me to come on board. And uh, I'm really excited about what the, the, the uh, Goalkeeping Alliance is going to bring to the goalkeepers of the world moving forward in the coming years, uh, let alone 2021. Um, so this is here for the future. It's here for good. And um, it's just going to evolve and grow with us. So uh, I'm just proud and pleased to be part of it. Looking forward to seeing you all on the journey. Nice. Tony, I appreciate those kind words. I really do. Um, the effort is going to be justified with the kids' experience with this amazing coaching staff. That is the product. The product of these coaching, the coaches that we have involved and in being able to listen from experience levels that I've never even come close to thinking about. And I'd have to buy a ticket to see in live, right? And I'm really happy and excited to learn from these coaches too. Um, we all have a lot to offer. We all have a lot, This is, we know this is gonna evolve, so it's gonna continuously be changing. So to Tony's point, your feedback is always gonna be welcomed. And again, where our goal is to get your children to the next level through a standardized approach through Zoom meetings and educational sessions um, with, these, with this coaching staff. If you ever have questions, concerns, this is what we do. This is what I do. So don't think that you're ever going to be bothering me. Our goal, my, our current email address, United Goalkeeping Alliance at yahoo.com. Um, you can also reach me through my cell phone. And that number is 781-424-3028. I'm going to type it in to the... There it is. There. Eric? Yes, sir. Do you mind if I... Um put out my social media handles out there for, for go right ahead, well, sir, go right ahead. you know yep. i've got a decent following so i'm on um i'm on twitter i don't know if anybody uses twitter but it's at t-e-g-k-1 mm -hmm. um if anybody's on instagram it's at t-e-g-k-0-1 so slightly different so drop me a follow if anybody's got any questions or want some guidance advice uh, then please do um drop me a follow and uh, send me a uh, a tweet or an Instagram message and I'll get back to you. So Twitter at TEGK1, Instagram at TEGK01. Okay. Yeah. And, and you can do the same with not Twitter, but with Facebook and Instagram with the United Goalkeeping Alliance. Please, please do the same. 
Well, everybody, I really, I thank you for your time today. I hope we've answered all the questions that you may have came with. Um, again, we're here to serve you. So anything we can do to continue to satisfy the goalkeepers and parents who are involved, in addition to helping the goalkeeper coaches evolve too, please let us know. On behalf of Tony, on behalf of, on behalf of the Alliance, on behalf of the five coaches who are here today, I want to say thank you. Hopefully we see you this weekend and have a great night and be safe, everybody. Thank you for your time. See you later, everybody.